Hi there, this is Chris Kellett with MuseGrid.com. We had the release of Muse CC6 um, or Muse 6 today, and I just wanted to run through some of the additions that have been made, some really great uh, additional features and updates. So I've put together a simple page just to showcase the um, updates um, so that you can get, get your head around what's actually changed. One of the main fundamental changes of the layout itself, uh, the panels, is that we have this new scroll effects panel. And if you saw Danny Bowman's um, video earlier that came with the release, then you'll see that she talks about the fact that we've got this persistent scroll effects panel here, so that when you're working in um, adding scroll effects to items, you've got this panel here, so you can switch between um, items without having to go back into the effects menu, which could be a bit time consuming if you had lots of scroll effects on the page. So that's great. So the other thing that has been added today, which I'm really pleased with, especially from MuseGrid's point of view for our templates, is we've now got the ability to have the uh, state change on a menu, even on a single page layout, where we've only got anchor points. So we know that if we had a multi-page layout and we clicked on one of these menu items, when we went to the page, the code would pick up on the, the page and would set the state, the active state, to whatever that active state uh, was. So for instance, in, in this case, our active state is a black background with white text. However, if you only had a single page layout, then that active state wouldn't actually show up because you weren't on a different page. You were just going to an anchor point. So they've added that too. Um, a big bonus as well is the fact that we've now got um, full screen width items. So items that will stretch to the full width of the page regardless of what the browser side size is. Um, now we've got scroll motion on that as well. So uh, previously to that, if we wanted a full width image, we would have to make that image bigger than the actual uh, canvas of the page here. Um, and that would lead to a little bit of awkwardness with the um, the navigation with the scroll bars because you would have a, a site that shouldn't really have a left to right scroll bar at the bottom but did because we had these huge images there. So now that works as well. So let's take a look at this in, in action. First off, let's have a look at how we switch on this um, persistent menu, but with the active states that show up based on the anchor point rather than the uh, a new page. So if you've got a site that um, you've already created, you'll have to go and switch it on. So open that up, go to the hyperlinks button, click on the edit link styles here and we can see this new option here that says enable active state for anchor links. So we tick that, click OK. That's that done. Now with regards to this scroll effect here, we've got an image with a background fill and we've set the fill to scale to fill. So whatever size the browser is, that image will scale to fill it and we've set that in a rectangle and what we're going to do is just drag it out to make sure that it's touching either edge of the canvas here. And we've got our animation set. So let's preview that in the browser. So we've also pinned this menu to the top of the page so it stays in place as we scroll down. Now as we scroll, you can see we've gone past anchor point one and the word one shows up. We've gone past anchor point two and two shows up. Three, four, five, and six, which is great news. So we can use that for all different kinds of uh, effects to showcase that we've where we are on the page. Now you'll notice that currently this uh, this isn't showing full screen. So what have we done here? Let's go back to that and see see what's going on here. So let's make sure that we've, ah, there we go. We haven't got the image touching the side. So let's make sure that's touching the edge there. Let's preview that again. Scroll down. There we have it. We have the image there. And you can see the scroll, can you see it sliding up over the top of the two there? 
So that scroll motion in effect there, but if we take this browser down in size, we've got the image rescaling to full width, and we've still got that nice scroll motion effect there. So those are some really good updates for Muse. That's Muse 6. So check it out for yourself, and hopefully this has been a useful tutorial for you. Thanks for watching.